Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Sorry. <laughs> uh, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Let's look at this surgery. This, we're gonna do. We're gonna work on the surgery for. Oh, Denise. <laughs> yeah, over here it's still dark, but I gotta, I gotta get this done early. Let me see. So. You guys can see me on this view and then the iPad on this view so you guys can see me so. Hopefully. So we are working with uh, the, I don't know how to pronounce it, is it a Brindle and Twig pattern? So, hey, good morning, Oli. Good morning, Joni. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, boss lady, Ashley. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Nancy. Carolyn, Naro, Pauline, Sierra. It's up early. Ooh, everyone is up. Okay, so you guys uh, watched the video I posted pretty late yesterday. <laughs> um, I already cut my fabric out, okay, and I a knit bullet. I think you can pretty much much use any knit fabric you want, but make sure the knit has stretch, okay, because you need the stretch for the waistband. So this is a knit, and I cut out you guys follow the instruction i already cut out the how i show you how to cut this in the video so what we're going to do first is we need to match i'm i'm going to start okay we're going to match the front leg with the back leg so i think So this is the front lay. So make sure you know which one is your back, which one is your front. I think the back has a higher um, raise in the back. So let me face this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, I need to be this way. Okay, so back, this is back lay. So right side to right side with the front lay. So I already have my serger and my cover stitch setup if you don't have that it might take you a little bit longer because it took me a little bit longer for the first pair of pencils i was trying to set up my cover stitch so in the future i will do a series just on cover stitch and serger and we'll do like test sample so you guys can put it in your um, collection binder so you guys know like your setting so you, you can you know set up your setting quick so i don't want to pen this i'm just going to use these clips right here these are wander clips and i'm just going to clip it oh and i am wearing denny's merch today so i love the color scheme if you guys are wondering whose shirt is this this is from danny so somebody can link danny's 
merch. So anybody, like if you guys like this color scheme, you guys like how Den designed the logo here. I think these are Greek letter. I think around it, it looked like Greek letter, yeah. So it's really pretty. I really like the green with the hot pink. It's real, uh, really pop, the green. Let's see. <laughs> so over here, still early. It's 5.37, still super early. But I want to get this out of the way before baby Cloud wake up so I don't have to think about it. Because when Cloud wake up, I cannot finish anything. Yeah, for those of you, if you guys um, are just watching, you guys not follow along, it's, it's okay. Like this video, it's gonna be on replay. So anybody that missed the live, how I sew it together. There's a lot of ways to sew this, but I'm following the instruction minus the hemming part because I don't like how they hem it in the instruction. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a cover stitch, then you will probably use the method and the instruction, which they just use a zigzag. But I think I like the cover stitch more. It just look more professional and polished. And I know a lot of folks to avoid, um, you know, to save time, people don't hem it. But to me, I like to hem. But if I'm doing a bill bottom, like those big bill bottom, I'm probably not gonna hem it too, because that one, it could be, you know, with the raw edge. But this is the flare pants. And so I, I guess the, it, doesn't it's not that big of a circle like the bill bottom so hemming is probably not going to be as bad as the big old bill bottom that you guys see out there and i don't think i need this much clip but <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i'm just clipping everything away you don't need that many clips i think just to hold a couple seam is okay it seemed like this fabric bounced back you guys when you cut it i i left it overnight it kind of bounced back so they don't match perfectly but you just have to ease it in when you sew I was gonna sew because it was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Liv. You can you can come back and sew this later. But since I'm I'm using a cover stitch for the helm, um, I know you don't have a cover stitch serger, so you'll probably have to use the zigzag. If you make this pen. So this pen, I think you can use a cotton, a non wool I mean a woven fabric. But I assume you need to put elastic for a woven fabric because they don't stretch. So you probably need to have elastic for it. But this fabric, I mean, this these this pattern is designed for knit, so I would only use knit fabric. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Only. Thank you so much. That was a sweet comment. Thank you so much. This year, I'm making a commitment to do two um, sit and soul Sunday, okay, every month. So I will bring, you know, various projects, and then I'm going to use my tutorial Thursday for, and I'm going to do Etsy, because I know a lot of people like to see that. And then I'm going to do just some tutorial on um, building a reference book for your surgery and cover stitch, okay? I noticed that, like, if you do that, um, you can reference it quickly because you. I don't use it every day, so I'm going to forget a lot of the setting. So I was thinking we can do that. for tutorial Thursday and that, so hopefully you guys follow along <laughs> so I already clipped both sides and then I'm gonna go back to my serger okay I'm gonna do this as fast as quick as possible so you know I don't run out of battery for my two for my iPad and my iPhone <laughs> So I bought new camera. So hopefully my new camera comes this week, this week and I'm gonna set everything up. And I also bought the live streaming box. So we'll see how everything goes once I set everything up. And my husband just put in a new router for me near my, I know a lot of people suggested that. And so we look into that. And so we bought a new router just for Oh, it's glitching. Okay. Man, we bought a new router. I don't know why it's still glitching. <laughs> okay, let me know. Hey, good morning, Angela. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? I don't know why it is glitching. Um. I mean, we bought a new router, and so I used the broadband with the new router. I don't know if that's the problem. I mean, I see that I am turn off. I don't think I can turn off one. Of, let me turn off this one. Let's see. So. Is this a uh, camera glitching? It seems like this one is really slow. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Like on, okay, on the camera over here, when I look on this camera, it's not glitching. But when I stare at my iPad, it's glitching. Both camera and on my end, it's um, it's only one of the other is is like glitching. Maybe I have to I have to go out and redo this. I really. I don't want to uh, lose this dream. Oh, I hope it 
Because I really don't know what, I mean, I don't think I can. Okay, we'll just go and see, see how it goes in a little bit. Is it better now? Is it better? Is it better now? Oh, I have to win out. I went out on one camera. Okay, Liz, let me know. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Angela, if you just got here. Um, Liz, let me know. Okay. Okay, I went out on one camera and came back, so. What about the workstation? What about the workstation? Is the workstation uh, doing fine? Is can you guys see the workstation? Yeah, I don't think I can close out the workstation because that's the main live stream. So for Z, I I was just adding Z to it. So. I can log out of the Z window, but not the workstation window. Oh, it's a little bit lagging. I don't think I can um, log out of the workstation. But let me remove it and then come back. What about now? I don't know. Do I just have to win in and out. Like I can't even see the workstation over here. Man, I think the workstation is not working properly because um, I'm just gonna do it this way and I'm gonna film with this since it's since the workstation is not working properly. So we'll just do that. And remove the workstation. Okay, so much better. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna move the workstation. Okay, so let's start. So this one is a pretty quick sew. Mine is the cover, mine is the uh, hemming. The hemming takes a little bit of time. So you're just gonna do the two sizing first. I really don't like this angle because you guys not gonna see it too well. Let me hopefully. Okay, hopefully that.
Okay, let's do this. So everything is set up, the tension and the, the upper looper, low looper is all at four. And I turn off my knife blade. You can put on your knife blade, but I turn off. And then I, what I learned from another lady here on YouTube is you put this finger down here. So this is like your security guard, I guess. Because when you put this index finger down here, you guys can feel if there's any like roll up fabric or, you know, they're not even. And so this is your guide. This is your hand for guiding the fabric and this is your security guard. So the guide and the security guard is down here, okay? And remove your, um, remove the clip. There's a saying to uh, Taylor Swift. I I need to subscribe to uh, those like Epidemic Sound or something so I can play music. Um, I think Epidemic Sound, I did a little bit of research. If you stop subscribing to their service, you cannot use their sound anymore. But I think there was another one that I found called Artist artist something i gotta go back i save it on my youtube but something artist that if you subscribe to them if you stop subscribing um they give you some free credit to get like one or two music a month and those you can keep forever and you can still use it after you stop subscribing to them so i need to go back and look at that subscription Cause I I like the music from Epidemic Sound, but if I stop subscribing, then I can't further use their music. Oh, something happened. Something happened. Okay, I will have to remove it. I think like a thread broke. I think I got a thread break or something. Yeah, one of the thread broke, the upper thread. So I have to redo the. Man, this is a full order. I cannot mess up. What? I'm just gonna sew like starting right here after I fixed it. Thread break, thread breaks. I got some technical difficulty here. Thread broke. I hate all this super subscription. Yeah, right, Liz. So I think the other option was artist something. I can't remember the exact name, but I know it was artist something. And because I was watching this other YouTuber, they said that um, they were getting flagged because he was using his sound for his wife business and they say that wasn't allowed. You can only use it for once, like only one subscription. Um, if you subscribe, you can only use it for your own content. You cannot share with your friend or your wife or your family member. So they only allow one user. 
for epidemic sound. So that's why um when I was watching that guy channel, he suggests artists. I forgot the actual name was artist something. And that one you can use um like they're gonna give you probably one or two i think it's one download a month and if you download that one music after you unsubscribe you can still keep the the one that you download yeah because i need some music you guys can't just Sometimes on my Sunday sit and so maybe I need to have some music on too. So I will subscribe just for probably a whole year so I can get like at least 12 downloads. And so I can save it to my own library and then reuse it. Okay, so I have to start. I'm just gonna start a little bit farther. Okay, so there's this string, so I'm gonna deal with that later. Hey, Lisa, good morning. It's okay, Lisa. Um, the video is gonna be on replay, so you guys can come back when you guys are ready to sew. So my next song Sunday, it's going to be on the weekend that I'm going to be in Long Beach. So I think it's not going to be a live since I will be in Long, Long Beach. I think I will re record and then just premiere so I don't miss out on my every other Sunday. So because I need to keep this consistent. I mean, I have, I'm gonna do an unboxing video with you guys, all the equipment. So if you guys, you know, are curious about what each equipment is gonna do, hopefully that will give you guys a better, like live streaming with the new camera equipment in the live streaming box. I'm not using my security guard. <laughs> I gotta use my security guard. So I'm I'm just waiting to test out the box next time because the box is gonna come here on Monday. So I want to do a presentation about you know different different uh, embroidery niche that you guys can do other than t-shirt because I think I see a lot of people have questions about that. So I am working right now on a PowerPoint presentation. So once I figure out how to, you know, set up my live streaming box and how to play with it, you know, have all these cool feature around, they have like overlay, they have like a bunch of cool things. Um, they even have a break video that I can make. Like if I have to take 
I have to take a bathroom break or something. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And I, I want to save that presentation for the box when the box comes. So this one is all done. Done this side. So we're going to do this side now. I like to go really slow, okay, you guys? Because I think slow and steady will make your garment nice. So I like to take my time. I know like if you're going to sew in a factory setting, they don't like that. They want you to have, you need to sew fast and it needs to be quality. But this is not a factory. So I am going to take my time. Oh yeah, I went with the Sony uh, ZV-E10. Um, actually, if you're wondering. <laughs> it's okay, Liz. Um, hopefully you guys so long with me the next one. The next one, I am doing a thread catcher. I want to do that thread catcher because look, all these threads, I don't like it. Okay. So we're going to try to do some organization things for your craft room. So I'm going to be posting that up a little bit early so you guys can get your supplies. It's gonna be a thread catcher that sit on your table like this and hang down like that. So you can just drop like your thread down like that. But for now, I don't have it. I'm just throwing this. This one is the serger. Yeah. So, and then I might, and then maybe after that, we will sew like a little uh, fabric band for this clip. I mean, I have the clear clip, but sometimes I need, I need like a little bend here so I can just toss it in before I put it back <laughs> with the clear bin that go on my pegboard. So the next, I'm gonna be trying to focus on organization sewing, okay? So we can do some organizing in our sewing room or craft room. Yeah, you know, it was so painful to watch um, my sis Liz so through that. Um, is it like the flare bill bottom? I think she did one and she didn't have a serger. So I was like, oh, it's so painful to be doing the zigzag because the zigzag took forever to finish. But you just had to work with you have, you know. I mean, Liz did it. And she put it on her daughter and she looked fast, but Liz, yeah. But if you're going to sew, I, I would recommend the serger. If you're doing for your own home use, um, the, you can get away with the zigzag on your regular machine, but I would suggest getting a serger. A ser this serger doesn't cost a lot compared to the um, cover stitch. Cover stitch, the brother cover stitch is about $500, but baby lock is way more expensive. So the one that I'm going to show you guys today is really expensive. It's like the top of the line. So, but I would still get like the brother if the brother cover stitch, if you can't afford the top of the line cover stitch yet. The only reason it's top of the line is because it has eight spool thread, you guys. It can do a, 
a lot of different um, stitch and it's a combo. So it's also a serger, but I only set it up for a cover stitch because I don't like changing it back and forth. It takes a little bit, a little bit of time to change it back and forth. It's not as easy like the sewing and embroidery uh, combo. It's a little bit more step when you have to change it back and forth. So that's why I got this cheaper serger, just mainly to serge instead of changing my cover stitch back and forth. So for my um, Sit and Sew Sunday, I'm going to try to be early like this every morning because I feel like if I do early like this, I will complete the task. And since I've been waking up like earlier and earlier now, that I think earlier would just be better for me. Because <laughs> during the day, like, there's a lot of things that could happen or going on with baby clowns. So, um, I just need to wake up early and early so I can have a more therapeutic sewing without disturbance from the kids and, you know, and the husband. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the perks of waking up early. You get to relax, just therapeutic sewing. Let me see all your comments. Hey, Robin. Robin, are you sewing along today, Robin? May Louise from South Africa. Welcome to Agua Bloom Boutique. My name is Z. You guys can call me Z because I think Zua, um, it's a little bit confusing. So just call me Z. I like the name Z. So if you guys would call me Z. Yay, Robin. Uh, where are you right now, Robin? Are you sewing the two legs or are you already ahead of me? Because <laughs> I am working really slow this morning. I am enjoying my time. So <laughs> I am sewing really slow. Okay, so now we are done with both legs. Both leg is done. So I'm gonna film myself over here at the table, okay? So we're gonna go to the table again. Because I'm close to your time zone. I usually miss all of the East Coast life. Uh, yeah, Denise, you are in Arizona, right? So you are close by. So you guys still, okay, my head's gonna get cut off because I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. So this is the part where you need to take one leg and take it inside out, okay? It needs to be the right side because you are going to be stuffing this inside of this other leg to sew the crotch seam, okay? And when you do it this way, the front side sh leg should meet with the front side leg crotch. You just insert it in like this. And then you're going to match these. This is the front. So they should match. So I'm going to come back over here. Put it on my serger. Oh, 
the light is like super bright that's why you guys probably can't even see what i'm doing but i will show you guys i need to um right sonia yesterday at liz we have a blast it was such a blast and they were um doing a bunch of giveaway you guys Oh, we're already 40 minutes in for this live. Ugh, I need to try to. So for the crotch here, I, I like to put the two seam here on opposite side. You see this seam and this seam? You will make sure they are um, flipping opposite direction, okay? You don't want them to go the same direction like this because it will create a bulk at the crotch. So I just trim off a little bit of the thread. So now I'm just clipping the crotch, clipping it, try to match the line. So your line will be perfectly matched when you flip it right side out. This one is almost done. Um, all we have left is just the waistband and the hem. So, it's a really beginner friendly project for serger. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to place this on the serger. I'm gonna start on one end of the leg of the inside crotch, and then I'm just gonna guide it all the way around. So when I get to where the two crotch, I need to check if they are exactly lined up and I'm just gonna press it with my finger so the line doesn't move. So you get like a, you get the seam to match perfectly. It's a little bit bulky there, so I would go really slow. Okay, I caught it. Maybe a direction for the Yeah. 
Yep, so this is not a directional fabric, so now made a good point there. So with directional fabric, make sure you guys are cutting the fabric the right way, okay? Like you need to cut the the green, like the fabric, I mean the pattern with the green line face, it needs to go in the right direction with the pattern. So you don't have an upside down pattern. And I, I don't like um, stripes because stripes, you have to try to match the stripe but it look weird so i don't like stripe too for for sewing because you have to match the stripe okay that's it you guys it's all done it's all done you guys the pens is done look let's take it out i got two too late let me see if I was on point. Now we're good. I mean, I think I'm gonna finish the waistband before I go to the surgery. So then, I mean, to the cover stitch, so it'll be done. And yay, the crotch is like right on point, you guys. You see that? Because I hold it down, the two lines. It's just perfectly matched. Ooh, look at this little pants. It's almost done. So let's do the waistband. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys down again. So we're going to do the waistband. Waistband, we're just meeting these two edges together, surging it down. If you guys can master these, if you guys want to join SimTrust Connection on Facebook, um, you guys can do small work for small business because there's a bunch of people asking to sew for their shop. But so make sure you master your surgery, like you know what you're doing before you sew for people because they do want professionally done because they are selling to their customer. And so you're like a small production for them, like just sewing. Um... For the small business shop. I was thinking of doing that. So I did took um an offer by a lady near me. We'll see if she contact me next week to sew for her. With that, I probably, I mean, she doesn't give me a deadline so I can take my time and I'm not doing the cutting. So I'm only getting paid for my time to sew. So now you have to fold the waistband in half. And baby clothes are much easier than adult. It's <laughs> super fast. It's faster than an adult. Look at the tiny little waist. This is a 24 months. So it's tiny. I think the baby, the newborn one, will be super tiny. <laughs> because newborns are tiny, you know? Okay, so in the video um, that you guys saw me cutting, there's a notch, okay? So I got the front notch. So I'm, I'm just gonna clip the, put a clip on the notch right here because you need to find the front and the back so you can line it up with your pant. So I am trying to be as detailed as possible for those that are you know, never use a surgery or so before, so you guys understand what I'm trying to do. Oh, baby, close the weight now. Oh my gosh. I thought I got some free time, you guys. <laughs> He's awake.
So I would do right side to right side right there. Okay, okay. Yeah, baby claw is away. Okay, I got I gotta get baby claw. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah, let's put on a shirt on you. Where's your shirt? Okay, you guys sorry. I'm gonna get baby claw ready for Okay. Where's your daddy? Excuse me for a little bit. And I thought I have my free time. Oh, Cloudy, you're awake. Okay. okay. Can you wear your shirt? Okay, wear your shirt. Don't cry, don't cry. Okay, wear your, wear your ABC shirt. ABC! What do you want? You want milk? I give you some milk. Mm -hmm. Milk. Okay, give you a little bit of milk. And then you can sit next to me while I sew, okay? So I have my earpiece of me. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but I'm getting some milk for Clover. And then we'll continue. I mean, the sewing project is almost over, but it's still, I keep saying it's almost over, but the process still take a little bit of time because I want it to be, I want to make it as nice as possible. Here. You okay? Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, we're going back. Back here. Hey, good morning. Good morning, May Louise. Um, I, not yet. Um, so I know there's these tail, but this is the hem. I will cut these because this is the hem. Uh-uh, Cloudy. <laughs> so this is the hem, okay? So I will cut these. I will cut it, but there's some that I want to tuck it in with a tool. I'll show you guys a tool in a little bit. Uh-uh, Cloudy. So. Oh, is the workstation working properly now? If it is, then I'm going to film it like this. I think the workstation. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Cloudy. Yeah, Cloudy's wearing Liz's shirt. This is like his favorite shirt, Liz. He always sing his ABC when he wear it. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. So I'm gonna clip these thread tails off because they are gonna be surged with the waistband. If you put your knife blade on, you didn't need to cut it because the knife blade will cut it. But I don't really sew with my knife blade. <laughs> Okay. 
So make sure you know which is the front and which is the back, you guys. The back will have a higher raise because of your booty, you know, like your booty is a little bit bigger. So um, it will have this raise. So you will know this is your back and this is your front, okay? When you hold it to side like that, that's how you can tell. So I will put the back thing onto the back. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult now because Klau is, is like right on me like this. So I'm going to try my best to um, make sure I um, put it in correctly. So right side to right side. This is how I finish. I don't know why. I don't think Carl can sleep when I'm not there because he can tell that I'm not physically there with him. So matching the front notch uh, right here. This is the front with the front um, line, front thing. I'm gonna match that. And then, I don't think you have to, like, you know how the waistband is a little bit smaller because it needs to stretch. So I'm just gonna do this, or hold this, and stretch this out with the waistband so I distribute evenly. So I just do this so I can see where I need to clip it right here. It's good to divide it evenly so you don't have wave. Seems like the back is more, um, has more, more fabric. But I'm gonna try to do it again, see. If I divide it evenly. If you don't distribute evenly, you might get some weight. Cloud, do not, do not, do not, do not try to pull up my shirt. Okay, you're not drink, you're not getting milk right now. This is difficult with Cloud right here. I need to put it a little, I'm gonna do this. Uh, the reason you do that is I need to distribute the side evenly. So let me, so difficult with claw right here, but I'm gonna make it work. Claw will not sit by himself, so. Oh my gosh, Claw. Okay, so you gotta stretch it like this. Okay, there. I'm just gonna choose this spot right here.
Hey. So this, there's a side seam. I know people care. You know the side seam? You have to flip it toward the back. I like to do it that way. I mean, I don't think some people care about like which direction you flip it, but I like everything go toward the back. So, okay, so that's not going toward the back. Let me switch it over the back. Hey, Evelyn. Oh, good morning, Lily. Um, Lily Simple. Krish, I think you were here earlier. I just I didn't see you. Yeah, Evelyn. Yep, yeah, you can you can do that if you don't have a cover stitch. And a lot of the time, customer don't notice that. So it's just me since I have the machine, so I need to use the machine. Um, if you do, you just do whatever you have, okay? Because most of the time, the customer doesn't look like tiny detail. It's just, it's just me. <laughs> Since I have all the machine, I gotta use it. Okay, Cloud, this is kind of tricky. Since Cloud's right here, I might not be able to. Okay, try this angle. Cloud, you are right here. Can you stay on this back? Uh, sit on this side so so you don't sit in front of me so I don't I can sew this just sit right here okay here play with these clips you know Klaus here that's why I don't really like to use a nice blade so I turn off the knife blade I'm gonna start not directly at the back but like a little you don't want to start where um directly where it has like this see because it's a little bulky there so i'm gonna start like a little bit right here near the near one of the sizing and then make sure when you do this you need to pull the um, waistband okay because the waistband needs to match up with your um pants so you need to pull pull the waistband not the pants the pants is on top and the waistband is at the bottom and you need to pull the waistband to match it so this is the tricky part. And then use, use this hand to hold it, to stretch it, and then use your top hand to guide it and hold it down like that. Oh, I forgot to, it was, um, it was stuck on. Okay, let me. Uh, we messed up right here. It's okay, just a little bit messed up. Why in the. H I J K. Are you doing your ABC? Yeah. I don't get it. Klaus probably doesn't want to sleep because I'm not there with him. It was, uh, it got caught on the clip. I didn't, it was my fault. I didn't look at it. That's why you don't want to start near, um, the edge where you clip it that's what caught 
it got caught. Hey, hey. So we're getting close to this part. So I will use my finger right here to hold this seeing down so it doesn't get shit. Chloe, can you wait a little bit? Can you wait a little bit? Uh uh uh. So now we're gonna pull this to not. Thanks. Oh my God, he is trying really hard to get into me. He's trying so hard. Well, you're messing up this side. Okay, I'm just gonna do my best over here because Cloud is uh, trying too hard. Copy cut behind my machine. Yeah, Marissa. Good morning, Marissa. Yeah, so Nancy can do um, one with the twin needle if you guys do not have a cover stitch, okay? So you can use even use a twin needle. This is difficult. Why? Yeah. Why you make it things so difficult for me? I cannot finish searching this. And this fabric is a little bit thick. This knit, this bullet fabric is thick. Like this is three layer of bullet fabric, you guys. Three layer. Three layer together. This is three layer like it's really bulky, so I am trying to go as slow as I can. Twisting. So we're almost done after this. It's just the hem left to do, you guys. And you guys get to see the cover stitch in action.
It's so difficult song with this baby on top of me. Baby cloud. We make it things so difficult. Yeah, I caught it. Okay, I <laughs> wasn't sure if I caught that thing. Okay, now you're just gonna chain off. So you leave this tail and then you can um, zigzag it or you can use this tool. Let me show you guys. So this is the only loose, this is called a knit picker, okay? You can get this from Amazon. I will link all my tools down if you guys. I see people use this knit picker to just grab the the thread here. I'm gonna put it down. Oh, I forgot my a. I forgot my my tag is closed here. So I will grab my tag later. Then this nitpicker. I think this one's broken because this thing keep coming off. Like I don't like the it keep coming off. But I don't like this one. Um you can I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of my my needle to thread it back. So you just thread it back this way. I'll do that later because Kyle is here. So now is it's done. The top is done. I think the back is a little bit wavy. A little bit wavy. I think it's just the nature of it because, well, it looked wavy, but then when the baby put it on, it's not going to look like that. I'll cut this loose. Okay, let's go and get the, um, we're going to go to this machine over here now. So before I do that, I need to do a, a little bit of prepping. So Klaus, sit right here. So. so the cover stitch do this. I just did a little bit of sample right here. So this is the cover stitch, Robin. You see that? The cover stitch does the hem like that. That's why we're, we want the cover stitch to hem. It does the hem, even on this shirt, you know these these shirts that you guys buy, you see that? It has the the hem right here. So I think this one is more visible because it's not dark like the shirt. Uh, okay, 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 here. Can you hold it? Okay, 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 okay. You wanna be uh. with me? Okay. Man, I think I gotta get the, you guys, I probably have to go get the baby carrier, right? Okay, okay, okay. So they want you to fold it um, three quarter up. Okay, okay look, look at the donut, look at the donut, look at the donut, look at the donut. Yeah, look at the donut. Ooh, donuts. How many you have? 
Kim, how many you have there? Ma, ma. Okay, so I will put all this these uh, side seam toward the back, and I'm gonna trim all these off because it, it's gonna be cover stitch. <laughs> So I don't need these long tails down here. So it's going to be three quarter inch, okay? So I'm gonna get my seam gauge. So oh, this seam gauge is all benty. So this is a seam gauge, you guys to measure three quarter. I try to be as accurate as possible <laughs> so they look all even around three quarter. I'm really particular about that because I, I don't just like to sew whatever. I need to know that I am doing my best to make it accurate Because in fashion class, we are great on construction, okay? How you construct, like you can finish it whatever way you want, but teach a great you on the neatness and how accurate you sew it, you know? So I do try to do that. What? Okay, okay. So one thing to help you, um, okay, okay. I'm gonna go get a baby carrier, okay, you guys? Just wait a little bit, cause Cloud's being fuzzy, so. I'm gonna put him on a baby carrier. Let me see if I can find the baby carrier. This Cloud is just super fuzzy. He doesn't want dad right now. I'm gonna ask dad. I think this live is going to take longer, you guys, <laughs> because is it almost seven? Wow. It's been an hour. But we're almost done. Okay, well, let's put you on the baby carrier. You are too mini. I got to carry you. Hey, here. You gotta put your arm under. Put your arm under. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. You need to put your arm under. Okay. Do you need to put your arm under? Put your arm under, yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna carry him like this so he stopped bothering me. So what I have to do, Cloudy, you are mini. Why you gotta wake up so early? You gonna go nap early too? Okay. So, we're gonna use this tape called, this tape is called um, wash away or wonder tape to hold the hem down. So you know that um, it's wash away tape. So once the person washer, I think it, sh it should be gone inside. So I just, Use it to hold things down. And I, I know that a lot of people don't do this. They just hem it. You, I just don't want it to shift when I'm hemming it and the cover stitch. And I want to make sure it's actually three quarter.
Okay, so if you guys, Joanne do have these, but you can also get it from Amazon too, if you guys don't wanna go with Joanne. Man, this project is gonna take me longer than anticipated, but at least I would be done with this order. <laughs> this is an order, so at least I will be done. I don't know if I should use black thread or white thread, but I think the white thread should be fine because this fabric is black and white. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, Nancy is giving you guys a bunch of pointers for those that don't have a cover stitch so thank you nancy for sharing all the pointer for people that do not have a cover stitch i think i will probably also do my own video later for um uh, you know different hemming if you guys do not have a cover stitch like what feature is good to use on your sewing machine to do a hem if you don't have a cover stitch. So I wouldn't recommend doing this for a the bill, the huge bill bottom because it's gonna take you guys forever to try to um, tape everything. <laughs> I would just leave it raw. And the bill bond can be raw because, you know, they don't fray. You can even leave this raw. I see um, some shop owner, they just leave this because if you leave this, you will already be done, you guys. You didn't have to you know mess with this part you will completely be done already but to me i like it to be done i think i have to make a little bowl to go with it i know that the customer didn't ask for a bowl but i'll do that off camera because I like, um, you know, just to offer like a little freebie to make the outfit complete. This is this is a request, so it's like I don't offer these in my Etsy shop. You know, you see how complicated flowers. I don't think I can be sewn this, selling this only on requests and you know helping other people sold there for their own shop what is uh, so you know, cover stitch um, can do a lot of things. It serves as it can it can hem um, garment, but it also serves as decorative stitch to you guys. You guys can do a lot of decorative stitch. I even see people do coating on the cover stitch, you guys. <laughs> so there's it's multi use which is whatever, but we will be doing project more with the cover stitch if you guys want to see, you know, more projects. So I have done, like, they, I see people done placemat, like, they made decorative stitch on the cover stitch, and they use, like, variegated thread or, you know, those colorful thread, and they just create, like, decorative stitch. And then you can also do a reverse cover stitch where you can have the stitch 
outside and you know it'll serve as a decorative stitch you know, those actor wear garments they have um they have a two flat lock side um the cover stitch this one does not do two side they only do one side okay one flat lock underside so you have to do a reverse um cover stitch and that's for the future you guys i'm gonna sh be showing you guys that in the future because i am planning to make some afterwear garments for myself so if you guys want to make your own afterwear you guys can follow along and we'll be sewing afterwear and i will be doing a reversible cover stitch with like colorful threads so it will give that decorative decorative look on the outside of your garment so it will give you guys a lot of reason to buy a cover stitch you guys after after you guys seen that man you guys will probably be addicted like i am addicted but i just haven't used it too often because of you know i've been doing embroidery too much but this this year that's the goal using my cover stitch to share with you guys more often and see see what kind of awesome things it can do Yeah, oh. To wreck for. <laughs> yeah, okay, Liz. Yeah, I will, um, Liz, in the future, I will just, I will do some like tutorial, probably not, not like live, but video tutorial and we will learn and you guys can create a sample book you guys would you guys like to create your own sample book reference book i think that'll be awesome for you guys because it's like a whole knowledge of you know reference that you guys test it out because you guys can hear me or hear people um give you guys tip and talk about you know, tips and tricks but you guys need to put it to practice Put it to practice and put it in a reference book so you guys can refer back to it. Because, you know, like the book um, from, I will always quote the book, Jim Clear, you guys, from the Arabic. Because he said, you guys can theorize about theory and not put it to practice, or you guys can practice and do it multiple times until you're better because the only way to get better is to do it a lot of time. The more you do it, the more you get better because you see what you're doing wrong and you improve it. But if you only think about it, thinking, thinking about it, and then you just do it one time, then you know it's probably not gonna turn out as great as the person that has been doing it multiple times because he talked about there was a, they did an experiment, um, a professor did an experiment on like his photography class and he gave, um, he separate his class into two group and one group supposed to only do one photo that it needs to be like super quality, it has to be quality, okay? So the other group, doesn't have to do quality but they have to submit like a hundred pictures by the end of the class for the final and when he look at all the student the the student that has to take a hundred photos and they don't have to focus on quality they are the one that um has a better photo because of they've been practicing since they have to take a lot of pictures um each time they do it they they got better and better so their picture turns out better than the people that only have to do one picture because they kept on focusing on getting a perfect 
a perfect picture and not practicing. So the, the goal is to, you know, test the theories, test the tips and test out the advice and the tips and see what works for you and see what you can improve on. That's the only way to be better at being. Anyways, that was just my little story of uh, um, improving or learning something new. But, you know, with sewing, there's a lot of ways to achieve a similar look. So when whatever I teach you guys, I'm doing the way that is most comfortable for me and that's easier for me to understand. And hopefully the way that I do it will help you guys understand. Or, you know, if you guys don't, then we will also approach like other methods too. Or if another person like Nancy or somebody else that also do sewing can also show their way. And maybe their way might resonate with you more. So Liz, if you ever have a hard time hemming, I will get the wonder tape, okay? Because the wonder tape will help you make your seam laid down flat so you can, you know, sew it or, or cover stitch it, okay? So that's, I know my back hurt too, Nancy, but I got to do it because of, you know, clown. He ain't gonna um he ain't gonna stop crying so I'm almost finished with this sewing. So I gotta do this with baby claw on my back. Ooh, this is super bright. Okay. Okay, so here's the cover stitch, you guys. Cover stitch is a little bit different, okay? Let me go over the mechanism a little bit. Okay, so you can do three needle. Let me move this other. I'm gonna move this camera. Hopefully, don't get dizzy, you guys. Ooh, you guys see my face right in there. So, oh man, Cloud is like, okay, here, let me take you out. Here. Stand up behind me while I, so there's two needle, but well, I'm only using two needle and, but you can use a middle needle and you can do like a triple. This one is a trip. It has three needle. Okay. Compared to the brother, the brother one does not have three needle. So this one has that special feature of three needle. You can do a triple cover stitch. Oh yeah, Nancy, it's okay. <laughs> That's your style. Me, the reason I am doing this because when I take the fashion course on construction and I'm getting graded, so I am touching point on every detail as you know as as much as I can because. Um, that's why I, I won the competition for construction, okay? <laughs> so we did a, um, like a project runway thing at school and we had to, you know, sew a garment in four hours. I mean, it wasn't the best, but then compared to other people, mine was, uh, I guess my teacher said best construction because I did a zipper and nobody did a zipper. So I nailed the zipper but everything else was like not so good because we were under four hour, four hour um time limitation so yeah so construction is big for me and i focus on all this small detail i know some people say hey you are like too detail oriented like that's why you're taking forever but i want my stuff to um be as professional as possible because i was taught by this 
professor that she works in a she used to be a, a um, inspector for a big manufacturer company and she's really meticulous about the detail so i i have her as a teacher for my construction class and it, it was just um so i have to be like super meticulous <laughs> in particular because my that teacher was um a little bit picky okay so you cannot be raising my shirt let me take you to that because this part I, I need my whole attention because I don't want to mess up. This is an order of the club. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take you guys out of my ear because I have to talk to my husband and I have to leave Cloud Lane for a little bit. Sure. No, my husband is leaving to work. Uh, I didn't know he worked this Sunday. He worked today, so uh, okay. Pla, you are so. This is a special feet. It's a clear foot. Okay, um, the foot that come with this is a metal feet, but I got this additional foot because I like to see where you know it overlap. It does, you don't need it. You can kind of feel where it's going to overlap when you sew it. But I like to have my clear feet. So I'm not gonna start where there's the seam right there. So I have, this is called the seam um, guide. So, you can have this or not because you can kind of feel you have to feel okay where um where where this edge is because you're not gonna sew it this way up like how i we used to always sew this way up when we're hemming with the regular machine but with the cover stitch you have to sew on the right side you cannot sew on the wrong side unless you want it that way unless you want to do a reverse cover stitch then you sew on the wrong side but we're not doing that here so i need to sew on the right side and you just stick it in make sure so this is a quarter this is three quarters so i am doing like three eight three eight for the same guy so it will catch maybe i'll do like one half so it will no, I'm just gonna keep that 3A because I did 3A earlier in it. It caught it better. So I'm just gonna put it at 3A. If I go one half is too big, too wide. But you can also feel this one you have to make sure you feel it. And it has to be where the needle is gonna puncture, okay? Or else you're not gonna cut the under edge. So it's a little bit trickier. And earlier I did at three eight, so it was fine at three eight. Okay, cool. so I already have all my setting down, okay? So the setting, the setting for this um, is over here. So this machine, if you guys don't have this machine, uh, this setting not gonna apply to you because this machine, the setting is a little bit different. Then I, I will use a brother next time and we can go over the feature of the brother versus this one because i also have the brother cover stitch but i just like this one more <laughs> so 
I mean, I need to put this one to use, right? Because this is the top of the line. So I, um, the setting for this is like, there's this, uh, like a link, the link is down here. Like I put it on four and then it has a differential fee over here. I put on neutral and then here it has a wavelength. There's a bunch of like setting over here and I put it on A. And then there's also like this part over here. This is like the wave and overlock and I put it down to overlock. And then this button is the chain stitch. So I need to put it over to chain stitch. I mean, not, not chain stitch, cover stitch. Because if I go all the way up like this, it's gonna make my messed up my, um, my cover stitch. So I need to put on the chain stitch, which is all the way up. I have to pull it toward me like this. So yeah, so that's all the, it's complicated like, but one day um, I'll do a tutorial on how to, how to put this together because this is a dual serger and cover stitch, but I will cover the cover stitch part of this one for you guys in the future. If you guys ever like want to look into something like this, Hey, Bernico, good morning. Hey, good morning, Alicia, free 99. Alicia, good morning. Good morning, Antoni. Yeah, Bernico, I think uh, Nancy has it, right, Nancy? Maybe Nancy can do that work. I mean, I will still do it on my channel because I do have a twin needle too, but we will do that next time. I was telling Liz and them earlier that in the future, I would do a um, couple video on like different ways to hem. Um, this is this is not the only way, but this is more the professional way to, to make your garment look more professional. But there's other ways if you guys don't have this machine where it covers this. Yeah, Kimberly, okay, I'm just, yep, Atomic Habits, it's a great read. That's why I will quote it a couple times with you guys. It has tried, I'm really trying to train my brain to develop my habits, you guys. So, yeah. Yep, Kimberly, I do agree. I watch, I listen to Audible. I listen to almost like every, not every day, because I do listen to other things, but um, most day I listen to Atomic Habits on Audible. Oh, okay. So Alicia said the brother has a three needle. Okay. I didn't know that the brother did. I have not used my brother, Alicia. So I'm sorry if I. So sorry, you guys. I didn't know that the brother has a. Um, I didn't know that. Okay, so good to know that Alicia said that. Okay, Cloud, let's. Uh, I mean, you don't really have to use the triple needle, but it's probably like a different look if you guys want to use that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and search, I mean, cover stitch this. And this. Clock, can you stop doing that? You need to stop, baby. Okay, here, here's your mount. You are bothering me. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna sold this way longer than I need to. Oh, thank you for saying that, Naro. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know somebody asked that. 
Okay, I am not like paying attention to all of the comment because Claude is still here. Hey, budget live. Hey, budget live. You guys, I am also doing budgeting too. So budget live, what's your name? I am starting my budget like this week. I'm going to, um, if you guys follow me on Monday, um, I talk about it. So I am putting together my little budget so I know what I'm doing. So yeah, okay, let's put this into action. It's long enough. Make sure you don't sew on the other side. <laughs> okay, so make sure you don't sew. And, oh, I forgot to nail this down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Claude, okay. Look, 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 look at the machine. Okay, here we go. Gotta go slow. Oh, it looked like one of the thread there is Stuck right here. Ma'am Cloud, you are. I'm gonna cut this. Don't mess me up, Cloud. This is a customer order. I cannot mess up. Or I have to take out everything, right? Okay. Okay, all you have to do is just Hey, hey, hey! Do not put your hand in there. So this one has the side, the side seam there. So I need to go slow on it, and you can use your hand wheel if you have to. You just push it. I don't even know if it catch or not because claw is. Yeah, it caught it. Okay, <laughs> look at it. It's caught. I will show you guys when it's finished. The back. Ah, Cloud, stop! You need to stop doing that here. To be a teacher one day. That sounds so fun to me. Oh, you guys, that's one of my goals. You guys, so practice. If you know in the future when I open my sewing academy, I do want to open a sewing academy for kids and adults that you know want to learn how to sew like in person. So that's why I'm doing my budget this year to start you know to start um chipping in money for my future location. <laughs> so that's the goal, you guys. Because I really enjoy people's company and maybe those of you if you guys get really good you, i could i could have you guys fly over to come help teach in my physical location i would love that we could collaborate you know and and do class and maybe i could do like fashion show where people could do it's probably not going to be a competition but you know like at the end of the class we can do um fashion show so i'm gonna have people like make a mini collection that's that's my dream i mean i wish i have something like that when i was growing up so i want to create that locally here so you know kids have the opportunity other than just playing video games or you know coming home doing nothing I want to do something that so my kids have something to do. So it's getting close to the end, okay? So you want to overlap it. Like I overlapped it probably like six or seven times. So you can use your hand wheel now. Use your hand wheel 
so you can make sure it's it's right on top of of the previous seam. Okay, so it will look nice. Hey, you need to stop. Stop. Stop doing that. So I'm probably just gonna finish one size thing for you guys because that is annoying me. So I will show you guys this when it's done. And then we can chit chat for a couple minutes before I go because Clow is annoying me here. He's keep doing this, so I cannot, I cannot concentrate. Clow, stop. Trying to line it up perfectly. Okay, so now we're. I probably went over like six times. So this is the question where everybody asks how to take it out, okay? It's a little trick, okay? That was a chore. I had to read that. My one surgery for the fourth throw of a lot. I remember why I switched from. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. I love this. This is a jet ear, you guys. You see right here? It's a jet ear. I don't even have to thread it. I just put it here and press the... You have to put it to threading. And then just push this button and then shoot the thread right out. So no threading down here. So you don't have to worry about threading here. It just shoot the thread through. Okay, so this is the tricky part. You need some kind of... I just use this screwdriver that it comes with this machine. So you need to make sure the needle is at its highest point, okay? This is the highest it can go. And all you have to do is put this right under right under the two needles, okay? And then lift this up and just pull it all the way like this. And then hold it and then snip the where's my scissor? I'll come back and hold it. Okay. I need my scissor. Where's my scissor? Scissor, scissor, scissor. Oh, it's, it's right here, my God. Okay. So you will snip down here. Let me move my hand. You're gonna snip at the bottom, not at the top, okay? Ah! Let me do that. Snip it right here, okay, you guys, you see that? So this is the top. So you see? It left these two thread on the needle. And now you can just slide it out like that, see? And now you just cut the bottom thread off. That's it. Look at it, perfect. And then you guys can use a needle to put these in the back and then tie it because it will come undone if you guys don't tie it. So I would use a regular sewing needle. Use a regular sewing needle. Okay. And just thread them to the back and the tie in the back just like this wow you are so i like moving too much i'm almost done i'm just gonna do this one pant pants leg because Probably cannot do the other one. Yeah, the ovation is this one brand new is four thousand dollars, you guys. It's four thousand dollars brand new. I bought my used and I got for half price. But I don't even know about the price right now, like prices right now is a little bit crazy so they already came out with the new um version of the ovation the new one is called the triumph the triumph uh, has a bigger plate throat right right here and i think it has it's a there's a little bit feature up that are different with the with the triumph but everything else is similar 
I think it also has a, a needle thread right here for the for the triumph. Then the ovation does not. It's a little bit hard to thread, so I you have to buy one of these tools, this little tool, to thread thread up here. So this tool is really handy for the threading. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, Lisa, that that's what they say. But you know, when I went to buy this machine, it was on sale for forty five hundred. And I get if I buy the Triumph that time, they give me a promotion. To they give me the you know the table with it. But I was like, I don't I don't want to pay forty five hundred. Even if I have the table, I I don't have space for the table. The table is nice because it's it has a cutout. And it has a trash bag right here where, you know, when you search all your trash come in. So the, um, okay, 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 okay. So the, the try on, when I went to buy this one three years ago, it was three years ago. So when I went to buy this one three years ago, um, they offered me the try on for 4,500 brand new with the with the table and it has the tr trash bin cut out right here but um i was like nah i don't want to spend that much money so i saved and bought this used one it, this one was a tray and and bought it for two grand so Oh, Robin, are you getting a new machine? Sephora. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, it is six. Wow, the Triumph is 6,000 right now, Lisa. Yeah. I just, like, I just really want the ovation, and I was like, you know what? I cannot spend too much already after I bought, you know, I bought that machine at the same place. Never spend like 13 K for that one. So I was like, I didn't want to spend um, too much money. If I did six K, that would be close to 20 K. So I was just like, nah, I'm just going to go with the ovation. So at least I saved like um, 2000, you know, 2,500. It's okay. Like this one already, I really love it. There's not much different. There's only a little design difference a little bit and the throat plate. That's the only thing I see. Um, and they both do the same thing. So I'm just like, you know, I need to save like two grand. So, but yeah, but compared to it now, 6K and you don't even get the free cable. I, I wouldn't want to buy it. No, 6K is just uh too much oh my god lisa that that's a deal that's a deal because these are not these are like it, i got it for 13k but right now they are sixteen thousand. like the new brother it's sixteen thousand. that's not even the msrp then the msrp is like twenty nine thousand. And they put it on sale for 16K. So it's way more than the Melco. I don't know. Um, oh my gosh, well. Oh, that's nice, Lisa. That is, that is nice. You got a deal, man. I wish um, I could, I see one up. I should have buy one near me. Last time I was checking on Facebook Marketplace, there was one for $3,000, but it's not the 10 Nino Enterprise. It was a little older version, but still 3K, like I would still snatch it up if I find one for two to 3K. But I think I'm okay now. Um, I think I have all the machine I need to operate. 
because my ultimate goal is just to, you know, save for, save for the commercial space that I've been dreaming about. So, <laughs> so my, I want to have that so I can have kids and adult come and sew because I see a lot of quilt shops. And they they do a lot of posting. They don't really focus on garment apparel sewing. So my ultimate goal is just to do um an in person focus on fashion design and apparel sewing. So it, even in our fashion course, a lot of the students we were talking about that like there's not near our local place. I think a lot of people sew from their house and they teach. I hear some people sew like you know teach in their own house, but I I don't like that. I like to have a commercial space for um people to come. So for now, I'll probably be teaching you guys through my YouTube. <laughs> um, you know, keep up with my skills and while I do my budgeting to save for that commercial space. Um, I was thinking I'm not getting like an actual commercial space, but actually buying like a property that allow for commercial zoning. Because there's a couple place that I think here um, that you can buy for commercial zoning. And so I will own the place instead of me renting from like a commercial space. Yeah, that's the dream, you guys. And then I can do a virtual class even there too, like virtual and. Oh, I can't show. Marissa, yep, industrial. Um, it's nice if you have the space because they um uh, they sold like butter, you guys. They are <laughs> like butter. They are fast, and it is. Um, uh, if I get my commercial space, I will have all industrial machine, and then I'll have like some home machine, but. For kids, um, if we do like class for kids, they're not gonna be using industrial. Industrial is probably for adults, and everybody has to sign waiver. You have to, um, I have to get a lawyer for that. So I probably have to have insurance, sign waiver, to be able to operate machine. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot of work um, to open. So I'm gonna be saving every dollar that I can starting like this year on so my husband said we already have a lawyer in place if we need to start up a physical location so we have to have a lawyer draft like everything and if i have to hire employee i, I have all these employee form so yeah it's i know it's a it's a lot of work that's why i don't want to jump into it yet um i need cloud or you know i need to be done with having baby first and foremost so now i i can teach you guys through youtube and slowly build on that dream so i mean i've been telling my husband i am already living my dream teaching on youtube but the ultimate goal is to be in a physical location because I, I learned through uh, interaction and being in person. So I, I like that more of an in-person environment than virtual. But you know, for now, virtual is fine. And also virtual is like, you can refer back to what you need to look at. Yeah, so I like to have both um, virtual and in-person. I saw Ember Industrial Machine and I love it. Oh, yes. Ember, yeah, Ember has the industrial machine that can do zigzag. So I didn't real, I didn't notice that, but Ember said that, I think that one was a special one. Um, There's not many out there that can do zigzag and straight stitch for industrial. But I probably don't need the zigzag part, so I can just get like a juki with the straight stitch. Because if I need zigzag or I need to do button, I just use my Bernina. My Bernina is already like good enough. So I have various um machining, like I use Senior Brother, Baby Long, and Bernina. 
So I, I like to try a different brand. I know some people stick with, if they start with brother, they always stick with brother or singer. But I go all, all over because I don't believe that like one is over, superior over another one. They all function um, really well in their own way. And it's just how you take care and put love to them. Because they are built to work, you know. Hey guys, so I know a lot of people are angry about you know brother is plastic, but hey, everything's plastic. So I know Bernina has more metal, and it's a little bit heavier than the brother, but still, like some of the parts just plastic, like the covering plastic. But yeah. Clown, no, 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 no. What did you do? Huh? You were supposed to touch that? Man. You're a mess. Here, just be good. Ooh, Felicia. I'm so glad. Yes, if you guys have a cover, it doesn't matter which name, which brand. Um works you just have to know how to use it because each one um functionality is a little bit different but they are real similar in, in a way it's just some button or features a little bit different or they're placed in a different location but they all work the same when you finish they will look like this so you know, that's the cover stitch. It will look like that, and then it will have this line on top like that. So yeah, I think this pen's turned out great, you guys. I just have to hem the other side. So hopefully the customer will like this. <laughs> I just have to tag it to our, I will just zigzag the tag on to the back. Yeah, I think it turned out great. Oh, Robin, that's what I hope. I hope <laughs> I told my husband when Cloud's bigger and when we're ready to open a physical location, I'm going to have all my kids working. They are going to be, um, I want to do like those, uh, like scrapbooking where I used to do scrapbooking. They have like top night. So it's going to be like a sewing night and I'm going to make all my kids serve you guys. If you guys come to like my sewing night, I'm going to have like snacks and you know, food and the kids and my husband, all of them going to be serving all the guests because they're going to be working for me. Um, when I went to do a crop night with a, this is like a family owned uh, scrapbooking location and the lady there, she has her whole family, well, her kids and her sister came to help her serve us. Like we were just there like relaxing, happy. And they were providing the snack and the drink, and they were like setting up and, you know, um, giving us drink and whatever. So I, I thought that was nice. I, I really want to try something like that with sewing. So it'd be like a sewing night or something, and I would just have my kids, like, you know, set up and serve you guys. <laughs> yeah, let's, um, snacks, right? Like, do the grand opening and I start to have a um, sewing night list. We're gonna have a whole table of snacks <laughs> for all the sewers and probably like some light, you know, lunch because we did have that at the scrapbooking um, night when I used to scrapbook and I really like it. So I was like, I need to bring it to sewing and you know and even do fashion i really want to do like a fashion uh, runway show for my location when i open that so my goal is to aim for five to probably five to eight years by the time i'll be 40 you guys so hopefully it happens and i'm starting the plan now so in due time i will be ready for that and i will have all the capital to open because i don't want to charge everything on credit card and i know that um i will need capitals to 
pay for construction because it needs to be constructed like uh, you know to for safety reason and also for de for decoration reasons yeah You do not click that. <laughs> what is Liz saying? So human. No, 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 no. My husband, Robin, my husband do not like sewing. He, he just, he's a little bit sexist. Um, but I, I don't want to call him out. <laughs> he's like, a uh, woman's sewing is for women. <laughs> So he won't even touch it. He will like watch me do it, but I don't think he, because I won't even play games with him. He likes gaming. So he was like, well, you don't play game with me. So I won't touch your sewing machine. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't like games. So I don't play games. So that's why I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm, I won't make him touch any of the machine because I don't even touch his game. So. <laughs> It's all right. Is the skin and cut easier to work with? I have a skill that Camille and I still get to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Liz. Oh, I didn't get what was that term. You say my husband sold humans. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I got it now. I got, I got what you meant by that. Yeah. If you guys don't know, uh, my husband works in the healthcare. So, yeah, that's why Liz say that terms. <laughs> he does, um, he doesn't do surgery, but, you know, when people have, like, even, like, he do, um, searcher, he also do searcher, too. So, he do so, um, patient up. Like, if they have a small wound that they don't need to go to the ER. And he do clean the room and search her and, you know, give injection, things like that. So, yeah, like Liz said, yep, he sews human's flesh. <laughs> he doesn't sew a garment. Oh, may, may Luis, okay, let's look at the pants. That's how the pants look, you guys. So one hem is not done, so it's a little, this side is a little longer because this side is not done yet. So I will. Yep. So that's how it look. I I think it looked good. And this is a tall monk. So, and then this side has the um, cover stitch done already. You see how. If you do zigzag, I was afraid that zigzag will um, make this a little bit wavy. So I would um, try the, I saw a lady did the zigzag and it makes the hem wavy and I don't like that look. So I would try the twin needle. I think the twin needle will probably be your best shot at replicating like a full um, cover stitch. Okay. So the cover stitch look like this on the back. So I think I got it right on, you guys. Look, it stitched right on to the edge. And that's what I was trying to aim for. But if you have like some extra feather sticking out, and that's that's perfectly fine. As long as you catch the edge. <laughs> so very nice i don't use the so much my thank you lily simple creation thank you sonia where's budget life a uh, budget life i don't know if you gave me your name but if you can give me your name again i didn't see your name I have my scanner and cut and got the scan. 
Thank you, uh, Alicia. Yeah, the customer wanted this prep because they. Oh, so this pen is going. Let me show you guys. So this is a set the customer is ordering. So she want this and this to go together. So um, she didn't want the bloomer that I have because she said she need a long pants. So that's why I say, okay, I can make her this easy pattern pants with this um, embroidered shirt. Look at it. This cute little cow. So it's a set and I'm going to make a bowl to go with it later. So it will be shipped out tomorrow for the customer. Yeah, uh, yeah, Alicia, my husband is in is in the healthcare. So, and those of you that follow me, yeah, you guys, I've been saying that. But yeah, that's why Liz make that joke that he's so he's so human. Okay, <laughs> he, yeah. So. I don't know why he has to work this morning, but they make him go to work this weekend. So <laughs> he has to work on a Sunday morning. And normally he's always off on the weekend. It's just some weekends um, they're short staff. So uh, I've been liking the new schedule that they give my husband because of COVID. Um, they have to work half time at home, which I like it so far. He doesn't have to go in and he can stay home and then some, you know, after he's done, he helped me with cloud so I can work a little bit in the afternoon with him watching cloud in the afternoon. Um, Juana, for the set, I charge 65. Um, everybody has different price, you guys, but I do believe in, you know, setting your price accordingly because you do want to be compensated for your time in the materials cost so i charge i charge excited i'm gonna give her a free bow anyways to come with you know with the outfit and a lot of the time the customer like if they see your work if you post a lot of it on instagram instagram is like your portfolio you guys that's why i said get instagram and take photo nice photo okay of every single project you do and you never know who's uh watching you so i got so far i got three orders through instagram in the past i mean i don't have a lot of orders i know some people do have a lot of orders i think catchy has a lot of order from instagram too but i because catchy's uh her photos are like beautiful okay so i get it a lot of people um are attracted to it but my uh, i think mine is pretty okay i got three so far but i haven't been um consistent posting consistently so after this one i will post this up i don't sell them on my etsy just for requests because i don't want to have so many fabric i have a lot of fabric already and so i'm like you know what i don't want to keep track of so many so i'm just going to do a pod request because i am going to be sewing for another small shop so i d i don't want to um do my own and be stressed about it because they do take a little bit of, of time since i too meticulous about it so i take too much time on it so i will only sew upon request Oh, no, Alicia, he's not a surgeon or nothing. He's just a family practitioner. <laughs> but they do occasionally have to search her, their patient. If they, the patient comes with like a small wound that, you know, they don't need to go to the ER. And my husband do have to like slice, um, sometimes slice, like if they have like some infection or something that, you know, he has to slice it open and you know drain out their pus or something like that yeah i don't want to talk about it it's just <laughs> that's that's like a whole um uh area like i, I don't want to know about or i don't want to see it so my husband can deal with that but not uh, that's not really i know that juana you are also a nurse 
So I'm pretty sure Juan would probably see a lot of, um, you know, like flesh and blood and all that. <laughs> Cause I don't, Juan, I don't know what department you work in, but yeah. Yeah, right, Alicia. Yeah, and that's. I don't know. My husband he he likes to be family practitioner because he like to have a wide knowledge of like every field. He doesn't want to specialize because when you specialize, you're only knowledgeable in that one particular area. And so he stay with family practice because of. You know, he he get to work directly with his patient. He get to care for them, and talk to them, and you know, know a little bit of all the illness. Cause I I told him how come he didn't go to cardiologist or like some kind of specialty, but he didn't like the specialty. <laughs> Cause I think he said that he feel like specialty you you don't get to you do get to see patient, but then you don't get to care for them. You know, like and and. You're only seeing them on special cases that they have. So that's why he like um, family practice. Oh my gosh, he has, he has some patient that love him so much, like, because he speaks Spanish. So a lot of Spanish speaker like comes to him. So I think he said um, majority of, I don't know, he has probably 2,000 patient panel. Maybe like one thousand of them is Spanish speaker. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating. He said a lot of it. A lot of them are um, um, I don't want to say that term, but a lot of them are. A lot of them are um, Spanish speaker, but mostly just. Ah, uh, cloudy. Where is my earbud? Deal with it a lot. Yeah, yeah. See, Juan, you have to, um, you have to uh, be able to deal with like blood and gory things, right? <laughs> um, I think for Juan, like since you worked there for a long time, I think it become like second nature. But for those of us, like I don't know. Um, I think I haven't worked. I I, I took an internship once because I I want to be a nurse too, like during high school. But when I went to college, I, I changed my major like probably three times because I was like, I don't think it's for me after I met my husband. Um, and he told me all the things that he has to do. And I was like, I don't think it's for me anymore. <laughs> because I did get a little bit gross out when I did my intern at the, you know, the hospital where they do surgery. Um, I don't know. It... Yeah, I just didn't like it, so I had to switch my major like three times, and then now I end up being a mom and um, knowing you guys. I mean, fashion design was top for me during senior because I didn't, I couldn't figure out what I want to do, but I always have this fire of like creativity that I, I want to look into. But my parent, nobody understand that side, so. Everybody was like, oh, you need to be a nurse or a freaking teacher. So <laughs> that's what I went. And then I met my husband. So I, I have my first child and I dropped out of college. And then I figured out why not go back for fashion design. So I went before the pandemic, I went to school for fashion design. Um, but I had to drop, I, not drop out, but I'm just taking a break. I do believe that I... I need to finish it because I told my husband, I dropped out too many times. <laughs> when my university degree, I already dropped out. I was three years in, I'm almost done, but I dropped out. So I went back for fashion design and I only have a couple course left and I took this break. When I have clout, I took the break. So I'm like, you know what? I need to make something happen. So I, I have to go back. So that's that's on the bucket list 
but for now i think my youtube and etsy um i'm gonna be focusing on that so yeah that's a little bit about me <laughs> yeah okay bye i mean boutique pauline thank you for hanging out do you like it lily do you like it um I mean, I think if I have to work, I wouldn't mind. I think I could handle it. It's just that, like, since I don't work in that environment, I feel like I can't handle it. But I, I know for sure if I actually become a nurse, then for sure, I think the blood and those things, I probably could handle it. Yeah, it, it's just the fact, like, when you don't work in there, you haven't seen it too much, you feel like, it's too scary or you're afraid of it but um if you if that's your career and you know once you start working in there i think you'll get the hang of it just like sewing or anything else that you're learning the more you do it the more you uh, show up for it it'll become second nature it'll be easier easier Oh, 12 years. That's good. Yeah. Keep, keep up because you do need those benefits. Right? Um, the perks of working for somebody else is because they pay, you get like your 401k and the benefits. So being an entrepreneur, you need to learn how to invest yourself and build your own retirement because you are an entrepreneur and you don't have that 401k, like people that work and you don't have health insurance. You have to buy your own health insurance. So that's the beauty of entrepreneurship. So that's why um, if you guys follow me um, along, next week I'm gonna start be doing budget and I'm gonna be looking into um, like my own retirement because my husband already have his 401k, but I, I don't. So obviously, I mean, as long as we stay married, his, his job covered me, but you know, I gotta uh, make sure I'm taken care of too, like, I gotta have my own future pan out <laughs> because I've been just home sitting all this time, not realizing like, hey, when I'm older and I can't work, what or what if we're divorced? You know, you never know what the future is. I mean, not that we're going to ever. I'm not gonna say ever because you never know. <laughs> so just prepare, you guys. So I am gonna look into uh, a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. Cause that's what a lot of the entrepreneur is putting their money into for retirement. So if anybody like, um, have that, you guys can share your input about like a retirement for people that have their own business, because I really have no clue. And I need to start looking, I need to start thinking ahead because we all going to get old, you guys. And so eventually we won't be able to work when we're like super old. So start thinking now and being smart about your money. Yeah. Yep, Alicia, yes. Um, I don't know my calling yet, but I'm feeling like I do like teaching Alicia. I love it, but I only want to teach about my passion which is sewing so that's why i'm like i'm gonna focus on this and then bring this to life and teach sewing because sewing is a topic that i will be ecstatic if i get to teach about sewing that'll be like a freaking dream Oh, Lisa, that's nice. Um, I think my husband has six more years um, for their company. Um, they can retire after 15 years, but he's already on year 10. So he only has, um, this is a year 10 for him. So he has five more years. So I'm right about five, six years left. And then, but I still don't want him to like, completely retired because if you retire early you probably don't have a lot of money um 
in your retirement yet, but they allow you to, um, you know, like work less and get more vacations. So I was thinking, that's why I say it's five to eight years for me to have my physical location, because in that time, my husband can work like two days a week and just help me run my business. And that's the, that's the goal that I want him to uh, help me run this business. So we just, I just need him to work so we can have the benefits because um, his work play has great benefits and that's the part of working in the healthcare. You get like wonderful benefit, benefits. Like I was talking to people that don't have, even my neighbor, they, they don't have good health care. And even my sister, like they have to buy their own private insurance and they, their co-pays are really high, really, really high. So I was like, you know, what? I do not want to have a big co-pay out of pocket. And I've been hearing a lot of people say that. So I am thankful and grateful that, you know, my husband have a job in health care. So we are like, we don't have to worry about upfront costs with that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Alicia, I know you teach kids over the summer, Alicia. Man, I wish there's a, or maybe I just don't know. I need to look into if there's like a camp or something. I would love to teach like in the summer camp or something for sewing. That is so awesome. I know that I watched your uh, video log uh, last year during summer. You were teaching summer camp sewing, right? That was awesome. Oh my gosh, I am like, my face, like, I need to face this way so I can see. Yeah, teacher has a hard job, and teacher is like, you guys have to be super patient, and most of the time you guys are working by yourself, so I am also grateful for my kid's teacher and all the teacher out there. Because it takes a big heart and patience to be a teacher. Well, that's, that's awesome, Alicia. Your daughter's going to be a nurse. Nursing is a great job, you guys. So I, I applaud people that go in there. And, and I have my nephew going in there, too. And I, because I think everybody's, like, taking after my husband. Everybody's, like, getting into the health, health career. And health career is like an awesome job. So, and you always find a job with the healthcare. There's so many job openings. And you're never gonna run out of a job opportunity with the healthcare. Especially nurses. Nurse, um, nurse can get job anywhere. Okay, 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 here, here, here. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this video short now. Was, that was being fuzzy. Thank you for hanging out. Oh my gosh. Seven. We're here uh, two hours and 30 minutes already. So good morning, Sandra. Yeah. Oh, Alicia, you are also a doctor too. Alicia's <laughs> a doctor PhD. That is good to know alicia yeah that's good yeah some people can do it that like like want to say i think it takes some um, a lot of um courage to be working dealing with people in pain right so yeah so md and nursing is not yeah somebody if somebody can link danny uh, i don't know somebody talk about so this is Denny's merch. So I'm wearing a Denny, Denny merch to represent Denny today. <laughs> oh, Mary Alice. Oh, so uh, Budget Live, your name is Mary Alice. Okay, thank you for... Um, coming hang out with us okay take care you guys i think i'm done talking i i'm just like
rambling all morning. <laughs> but we did we did great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it so and I will put up the next um so along and hopefully you guys join and make that little thread catcher. We're gonna do a thread catcher, okay? <laughs> hopefully you guys join with that so you guys can have something to organize your room and catch all your like look, I have all these like loose thread everywhere. So I need to make that thread catcher <laughs> for my room. Okay. Yeah, Liz, post uh post everybody's channel. So I post Alicia, post Juana, your channel, Mary. Before we go, I want to shout out to all of my bestie here and show them some support because yesterday they showed me um their support. So today I'm returning the favor. So those of you, um, if you guys don't know who Denny is, Denny make this shirt. So please go and support Denny. She also has a channel. She also does sewing. So, you know, if you guys didn't get anything that I'm teaching you guys today, maybe you guys can go, you know, to Denny's and learn. Because Denny do sewing. Nancy, Nancy Blaine also do sewing. Mara also do sewing. So, you know, all of the ladies have great tips and you know, they show their own way of doing things. So if you guys didn't get anything from me, you guys might get something from from my bestie because they also, you know, have their own tips and tricks and different ways to do things. And so, you know, the, the more tips and tricks and the more knowledge you have under your belt, like you can solve, you know, sewing, you can solve problems faster and easier when you have a lot of um, knowledge under your belt. Um, Nancy, so we have Nancy, we have Nairo, Mary, all of them are my best. Hey, good morning, Joanne C. Joanne C, um, did you have a business? You named your um, username Joanne's Creation LLC. Did you get an LLC? That is so awesome. You got an LLC for your business. Yeah, I want to show my support. I know you guys just hear me on Rumble. So before I go, let's put up some friends. Um, I mean, Liz, if you don't have the time, it's okay. <laughs> If you don't have the time to put everybody's channel, yeah. But I will wait till you put up um, some of the channels up. So showing all the friends support. Oh, thank you. The airy. Um, I, I don't want to butcher the last part, but I'll call you the airy. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce the last part, but thank you so much. And anybody, hey, if you guys haven't say hello, your chance to say hello so I, I recognize your name so next time I can um <laughs> just say hello and if you want me to call you by your username or your actual name or your nickname yeah I love to see um who are my viewer so if you guys before we go you guys anybody like want to say hi <laughs> Yay, okay, so so Liz is my moderator. She's is my sister from another mother. So my sister Liz right now is helping me uh linking all my besties channel. So all these are my fellow crafters and sewers and embroiderers and I wanna show them support. So if you guys can go and subscribe to them and hopefully you guys will learn something from them because they do a bunch of crafts too. Just similar to me, we all do um, similar crafts. Yep. Hey, uh, the baby shower plays. Good morning. Yay, I have a lot of new people saying hi to me. I'm so thrilled, you guys. I'm so ecstatic to see new faces. I always want to see like who are the new faces because I always have my usual bestie here, but it's good to see um, the new faces too. Yeah, and Barb's channel. Yes, Barb, you guys. Barb is full of knowledge. She is a seamstress, a embroiderer, 
she's a scrapbooker too i don't know what else she does but she a garden that lady is just uh full of knowledge um and she just posted her first video if you guys get to support barb she did a video of her um sewing space her you know her crafting therapeutic space whatever you want to call that space but it's just so organized barb is super organized so yeah, so go and support Barb. She just posts a per first video. <laughs> Alicia, you are a bestie, Alicia. So all the people that have been following me along, I you guys are my bestie. And if you guys join, you all are I mean, even if you guys don't join, I'm still all of you guys are still the part of the community and my BFF. I'm still gonna call everybody my BFF. <laughs> because um next time I will talk about um Alicia, I'm pretty sure you probably heard about the Greek um principle called Stoicism, right? I really want to talk about that um principle because I think that um I didn't know what it was, but after I researched it and I, I need to read more about it. It's such a great teaching and to learn the principle to apply to to youtube or like to yourself you know so i will talk about it further but i'm pretty sure alicia and those of you that are um readers you guys probably have read about stoicism or stoic principle i really like the teaching of it so maybe next time i will write down some notes and you know share some little um note with you guys about it because i think it really applies to a lot of things we do every day uh stoicism stoic i think it's called it's a greek um teaching i think it's by uh, marcus i forgot his last name i cannot pronounce his last name but i will probably go back and learn it stoicism Mm. me right now i've been reading a lot of like um, self-help self-motivation book kind of thing so i think stoicism um can apply to a lot of us yeah and i i will discuss a little bit more like next time <laughs> because i just start reading about it and uh, learning about it so it's a greek um principle it's from the greek greek um teaching so yay lily we got a merch from danny thank you lily for supporting our bestie danny you're gonna love this shirt this shirt is awesome like it's so vibrant i love it you see how many a lot of people compliment it because it's super vibrant yeah baby shower place um I, I love it too. So we, we can talk about stoicism because I really love the concept of it because they talk about um, one of the principles is called the uh, dichotomy of control. And that is like, that just uh, resonate with me, like super <laughs> resonate with me. But um, we will discuss that further when I take some notes because I'm just start um, like listening to podcasts and things like that on YouTube. yeah if alicia do you have um any recommendation because i was trying to find other recommendations besides the atomic habits but they they give me a whole list but i want to like, hear from you guys if you guys have like a best um book beside atomic habits because atomic habit was recommended by a lot of youtuber but i also want to see other ones uh, Liz, can you link the Atomic Habit books? I don't know if you can link that so other people can um, read that book. I think I, don't, I, think it, I got mine from um, Amazon. You guys can get the audio book. I also got audio book in the book because I like to listen to it. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, and post uh, post Danny's merch shirt. 
too for for people hey marissa thank you for uh, joining thank you for hanging out you have a great day oh my god the sun is already out it's super shiny now uh you've been sitting here all morning okay 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 okay, okay wait wait until um wait until liz finish liz is almost finished Okay, Alicia, I'm gonna put that on my list right now. Let me write it. Is it an audio bowl? I only wanna get audio bowl stuff because I wanna, mm, because I wanna listen to it on audio bowl. I, I like self-help books. They are really inspirational and like when you're working, it's like somebody like, supporting you and somebody's like uplifting you when you listen to it when you have nobody around you and you listen to it okay i'm gonna put it over here okay okay thank you liz Okay, um, Robin, um, if you, I think Liz already linked um, Barb's channel, but Liz could link it again. Thank you, Liz. You guys are gonna love Atomic Habits. Um, that's like the best seller book for uh, habits, you know, building habits. Hey Barb, good morning. Um, we're done already, but we're just chilling and chatting about life. <laughs> you know, chatting about books. I need to go have my morning tea. It's um uh, super bright now. So Liz, are you done? Um are you done? Okay, thank you, Nancy. Barb channel. Oh, uh, Denny's merch. I think people want Denny's merch. If you guys can list Denny merch again, and then I will um, say my goodbye because I say that like a while ago. So I want to get Denny uh, as much help as I can for her merch. She has. And then I'll wear Nancy. Nancy, your merch is next. My next live will be Nancy. And then Liz again. Liz also have her merch. So Liz, Nancy, and Danny has their own merch. I don't have mine yet, but I plan to make my merch with you guys on live, um, maybe down the road. I need to uh, practice on my iPad first. I'm gonna draw my own merch on my iPad and sublimate it, okay? That's the goal, you guys. I need to draw it out. So if, if you guys uh, haven't followed me in the beginning, um, since I'm more like, I like philosophy, you guys. So I don't consider myself a philosopher or whatever, but I just like all these cool teaching. That's why whenever we do um, a song, I will look up some philosophy or just something to share. That's why um, I came upon um, the teaching of Stoicism. So I will be sharing that with you guys. I think that's a great um, philosophy to learn. And... And so that's why we came up. Um, my merch is going to be the human Z because we are all humans. I always say that everybody. Um, it's the same, you know. We're all the same. We all desire to be wanted, love, and to be a part of, um, like a, to be a part of a group, right? Like we do not. We are social animal where we have to be a part of something. So I say like um, everybody, like whether you're poor or rich or, you know, whatever your social class is, at the end of the day, we're all still humans and we all deserve to be uh, treated equally in love. So that's the whole concept and that's the whole merchandise that I'm gonna be having which is human Z. And I put the Z instead of the S because my name is Z. I, that's the nickname that I go by. So just so 
you know, I'm going to put the Z in the back. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm going to design. I was thinking of putting my portrait design, but now that um, I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, I'm, I am picking my own culture over any other culture. It's just that I am proud of mine. And so, but then I don't want to put on the merch. So I'll probably draw something more generic for the human Z. I want to put up together like a design collage or something and then come up with a design for the human Z shirt. Because I, and, and the original idea, I was gonna do like a bunch of different cultural print from culture, different culture. But I think I will bring some element of that from different culture, but they're not gonna be like exact elements of the culture. It would just be like a little bit of inspiration from it and then draw it differently. So that's the whole idea for my merch. And I need to learn how to use Procreate first so I can do that for you guys. Hey, Michelle, good morning. Thank you, Liz, for uh, linking Carolyn's. I couldn't get next week we start the garden. See, oh, farm! You're already doing gardening. Okay, Bart, you need to show um some of your gardening. You need to show some of your gardening stuff when um it starts sprouting. I just like to see the process, but I don't garden. I don't garden, you guys. Hey, Veronica, thank you for coming. Kids Station. Um, no, um, I don't have a new machine. I think I just never show um, this side. So this is my Bernina. Uh, my serger is right here. Cover stage serger. Sorry, that's too loud. So yeah, so I don't kiss station. I don't have a new machine. Um, I I think I've been pretty much set, you guys, because look at it. I already have all of this machine, like that, and that, and that one. So I think I'm pretty much set on new machine. So I am getting rid of this machine this year because I need to make space right here. So I am not. I'm gonna keep this machine any longer since I find myself not using it too much. Yeah, so I'm planning to get rid of it soon. I need to make space, but I love all the machines I have here already. So I'm not going to buy any new machine because there is no space here anymore for anything else. So yeah. So this is the one that we work on today. Um, we will uh, do reference. We're gonna build a reference book, okay? With this machine, I will have some some sheet. I already made a sheet for the serger. And if you guys wanna get the thing, I will explain that later because that's that's a later video because I don't wanna jump ahead too far. For those of you that want to start learning how to use serger and cover stitch, we will have a, a series where we build upon like our skills and and make project to build that upon that skills and even build a reference book with um, all the setting and what what the machine can do, right? So you have that reference, quick reference book on hand. So that's the future, and I hope you guys join me for that, and you know, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't, so you so we can build on that reference book and build on those skills together, you guys. And like, I only know the basic. I don't even know the full capability of this machine because this machine has eight thread. I have not used the eight thread, so we still gonna explore all of that with my ovation with the eight thread. Cause I am, I only use like four spool or three spool thread. I have not done the eight, and the eight thread is, I don't know what it does, but I have a booklet what it does, but I have practice, so we will dive into that this whole year. 
and also um like procreate and budgeting because that's i am like diving into like a bunch of topics later but hopefully you guys uh, hopefully those interest you guys because i i'm intrigued by budgeting like i watch tons of people budget because i am learning to be more intentional now so yeah so i hope you guys follow that if you guys like budgeting and see the journey and also you know build on your own journey too if you guys follow along okay i'm gonna be holding cloud right here yeah cloud is he he just turned two on november 24th so he's still a little mini <laughs> i mean two years old but he's he's really really like hyper and all over the place so i i have to hold him and keep an eye on him oh my gosh alicia i'm gonna be bestie with that alicia because i am starting to do procreate and i want to do like um writing quotes okay so if you can write you know hand lettering i really want to learn hand lettering so i can sublimate all of my hand lettering on my shirt because you know in procreate if you can draw you can create um cool things that you can you can print it out with your sublimation and you know have it as a merch or just for your own self so that's the plan with the procreate So this tripod, um, I has, I think this one does not fit my uh, iPad Pro. This thing is not big enough. I think it will fit a regular iPad, but not an iPad Pro. And it has this um, up here, you see Barb? I like this because I can um, take it anywhere I want. I can take it anywhere I want. So. Hey, Joanne. Uh, it's okay. I thought I saw you this morning. Did you went and have breakfast and came back? I thought I saw you, Joanne. Maybe it was uh, another Joanne because I think we have a couple Joanne here. Oh, Alicia. Al yeah, Alicia has a um, merch too, you guys. So check out Alicia merch. Alicia, I need to get your merch, Alicia into that i need to buy a merch um this ipad this one so i have this ipad tripod already linked but i don't have this one linked yet so this one is called the a crown now if you guys like this because you can take this anywhere it's a it's a portable one so if you want to do like live somewhere and you don't have a table i mean you can just set this anywhere in your craft room so this is called the acrom mount and i i love this one too a lot of um craft use this one so if you guys look into that one okay i think um liz i think that's all the people right yeah, so you guys, um, my battery is gonna die right now, so I didn't charge anything. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you for um, thank you for hanging out with me since five a.m. You guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, sewing. And we will do. I will always update you guys on the community tab what I'm gonna do next, so you guys have time to prepare and follow along. Okay. So thank you for hanging out with me, you guys. It was a great morning and it was a great chat with all of you guys and see all the new and, you know, all the Betty faces today. Okay, so you guys take care. I'm going to go and get some breakfast too. So you guys take care. Bye.